Hello my dear children welcome back to my channel this is Vidya Prabhu your maths teacher here today's session is about class 10 NCERT chapter number 2 polynomials in this chapter we are going to discuss about what is polynomial how the general form of polynomial will be and what is the geometrical meaning of zeros of polynomial and what is the relationship between the coefficient and the zeros of the polynomial so first we will define what is polynomial the word poly means many nominals mean terms so in general polynomial is nothing but many terms where either connected with plus or minus forms a polynomial expression terms how the terms will be 2y square 3x 4y minus 6x minus 4z etc these are the terms when these terms were connected with either plus or minus for example 4x power 3 minus 2x square minus 3x plus 4 this is a polynomial expression the general form of polynomial expression can be written as a0 plus a1x plus a2x2 plus etc till a n x power n. So, this is how the general form of polynomial expressions are written. So, what is a 1? So, here we have a naught, a 1, etc. till a n are constant or it is nothing but coefficients. Here, the variable x is an variable of n polynomial expression the power the exponent the exponent of expression or the power of an expression should be whole number which means that here we have a first term a naught it is nothing but a naught x naught we know that any number raised to the power 0 is 1. So, the power of x will be either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. till n. So, the exponent or the power of the variable must be a whole number. It should start from 0 to n. The next topic is about degree of the polynomial. It is nothing but the highest value of x. In the given polynomial expression, we may look into some examples. For example, 4x power 3 minus 9x square plus 3x it is a polynomial expression with the variable x the highest power of x here we have x power 1 x power 2 and we have x power 3 the highest power of x is called the degree of the polynomial here the degree of the polynomial is 3 so let me discuss with one more example 9 y power 4 minus of 3 y plus 9. So, here we need to observe the power of the variable y power 1 and y power 4. The highest power of the variable is 4. So, the degree of the polynomial expression is 4. Based on the degree of the polynomial, the polynomial expressions are classified as linear, quadratic and cubic. The next topic is about how polynomial expressions are classified based on their degree. That is nothing but the highest power of the variable. So, we can classify the polynomial based on the degree as linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial, And the last thing, cubic polynomial.
What is linear polynomial? The general form of linear polynomial is ax plus b. For example, 3x plus 4. The highest power of the variable is 1. So, if any of the polynomial expressions have degree 1, we can classify them as linear polynomial. The second thing, quadratic polynomial. The general form of quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c. For example, 4x square minus 3x plus 9. Here the highest power of the variable is 2. If any polynomial expressions have degree 2, it comes under quadratic polynomial. The last thing, cubic polynomial. The general form of cubic polynomial is 3a x power 3 b x square plus c x plus d. For example, 5 x power 3 minus 4 x square plus 3 x plus 12. The high here the highest power of the variable is 3. If any of the polynomial expressions are degree 3, the highest power as 3, then it comes under cubic polynomial. Let me repeat again. Based on the degree, the polynomial expressions are classified as linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial, cubic polynomial. The general form of linear polynomial is ax plus b. They have a highest degree of 1. Quadratic polynomial, the general form ax square plus bx plus c. They have a degree 2. Cubic polynomial, the general form ax power 3 plus bx square plus cx plus d. The degree of cubic polynomial is 3. In general, in chapter number 2, we are going to discuss very detailed about quadratic polynomial. How to factorize quadratic polynomial? And also we are going to learn what is the relationship between zeros of the polynomial and their coefficient in detail. The next concept is about, we are going to learn what is the relationship between zeros of the polynomial and their coefficient. We know that the general form of quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c. Since they have degree 2, x will have two solutions, two zeros. If alpha, beta are the two zeros of the polynomial, then first thing you can verify some of the zeros. Some of the zeros that is, alpha plus beta will be equal to minus b by a. That is nothing but minus b is nothing but the coefficient of x. So, b, the coefficient of x dividing by a is nothing but the coefficient of x square. The second relationship, finding product of the zeros. Alpha into beta that is equal to C by A. So, this must be equal to C is nothing but constant term. Dividing by coefficient of x square. Let me explain the relationship again. We are going to discuss the relationship for quadratic polynomial. The general form of quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c where a is a coefficient of x square, b is a coefficient of x and c is a constant term. We know that since they have a degree 2, they will have two zeros, alpha and beta. x will have two solutions. 
I can take it as alpha and beta. So we have relationship between A, B, C and the zeros alpha and beta. What is the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient? That is nothing but sum of the zeros. When you add alpha plus beta, the sum will be equal to minus coefficient of x term dividing by coefficient of x square. When you find the product of the zeros, that is alpha into beta, the product will be equal to c by a. That is nothing but constant term dividing by coefficient of x square. So, in this video, we were discussing about what is polynomial. Poly means many, nominals means terms. When the terms are connected with either plus or minus, it forms a polynomial expression. Keep it in your mind, the power of polynomial expression must be a whole number. It starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Based on the degree, the polynomial expressions are classified as linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial, cubic polynomial. We are going to discuss in detail about quadratic polynomial. That is nothing but degree 2 and what is the relationship between the zeros of the polynomial and their coefficient. And let me continue with the exercise in the other video. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video.